Hi. We're Hi. restarting because our dogs won't settle down. Okay. Because I have to poop. Well, <laughs> they've already pooped, but... They're pooped. Anyways. <clears throat> Did you hear about the sailor who escaped from the belly of a whale? He ran all the way down to the end until he was all pooped out. Ah, dad joke. Good for Father Ted. <laughs> Of Father Ted. Yes, it's time to do <clears throat> A few moments later. Can, can you do the can you do the I like about Father Ted? It's just it's just silly. <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's just silliness, you know. Because the double finger for Brad, but he wasn't yep. looking. Father Ted, okay, we're doing season two, episode five. Yes. Somebody asked about episode three. Still in appeal, so I sound like a politician, don't I? It's <laughs> coming. It's still in appeals. We should just put it in daily motion. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. if it fails appeal on YouTube, then I'll put it there. And we'll just let everybody know. Yeah. So yeah, was it? There's something about the Eurovision Song Contest, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Episode five. So well, apparently there are. Yeah, it's some okay. kind of contest. I wonder which shenanigans he's going to get into this time. So. Here we go. Oh, huh. Probably the kind of shenanigans Rod would get into. Put on my headphones. Oh. <laughs> so busy. Oh. You're supposed to swing with me. There we go. Isn't that the end we got? Somebody wanted me to learn this on the guitar. You should. Look out! La 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 la. Oh, I recognize that song. Have you seen my record collection? Too? Your record collection? Yeah. Here it is. And uh, Dougal. <laughs> You need more than one record to have a collection. What you have is a record. <laughs> All right, Jack. <clears throat> la 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 la. Mr. Doyle loves it. Da 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 da. You know, you have a beautiful voice, Father. No, I I don't really. <laughs> no, you do. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks very much. I don't think I've ever heard anything more beautiful in all my life. Go on, sing something else. Now, I, I don't normally do requests. Uh, go on now, please. Okay. I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I didn't like that one so much. No, I was a bit disappointed with that one, to be honest. Yes, uh, thank you, Mrs. Dunn. That wasn't very good at all. <laughs> yes. I mean, I used to love that song, but that version was catastrophic. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Mrs. Doyle, I won't book Carnegie Hall just yet. I don't think they'd let you play Carnegie Hall with a voice like that. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Carnegie Hall. Jeez. Oh, Ted, here's one. Uh, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. What? <laughs> That's that old joke, isn't it? How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. Huh? <laughs> oh, I, I, I see. Um, you'd have to go to New York, Dougal. All right, yeah. Uh, Ted. <laughs> do you mind if I put on my record? No, go ahead. I've got Eurosong fever, Ted. Yeah? Oh, God, yeah. I love the Eurosong competition. I just can't wait. What time is it now? Half past one. Half one? And the competition is on in... May. Yeah. <laughs> Ted, you know they're looking for entries for this year's competition. Are they? Yeah. Dougal? Why don't we... Dougal! Ah, come on, Ted. Dougal! Imagine if we won. We'd be famous like, like Nelson Mandela and his mad wife. <laughs> no, Dougal, we don't have the time. Anyway, we'd have to write a song. That needs a certain type of person with a very special talent. Cole Porter, George and Irene Gershwin, Chris de Berg. Not just any old Egypt can take up the art of songwriting just like that. Hello, Father Ted Crilly. Hello, Dick Byrne here. 
Dick. <laughs> well, Ted, are you entering this year? Dick Bird. What? You're a song 96. <laughs> the young fellow's been driven mad here with it. Anyway, we thought we'd enter it this year. Why yeah, don't you give it a go as well? well? I'm sure you'd win it, Ted. Well, thanks very much. If all the other contestants were killed, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'd do just as well as you would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, we 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 would. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. No, you wouldn't. Times thousand. Yes, Jinx, no comebacks. Dougal. Dougal, little kid. Get the guitar. I said get the guitar! Oh, my God, that's true. Okay, right. What do we write it about? How about a lovely horse? <laughs> okay, we'll call it My Lovely Horse by Father Ted Crilly and uh, Father Dougal Maguire and uh, Father Dougal Maguire. Right, here we go. Um, will we do the lyrics first or will we do the music? Let's do the lyrics and then we can uh, fit the tune around it. Right, here we go. <laughs> Maybe we should do the music first. No, right, here we go. I like that. <laughs> was that all right? Yeah, it was a bit sad. Good, good. Uh, I'll write it down. Um, I think it was uh, an A minor. I, th I think, I think, I, I think I have a lyric. Right, lyrics. Go ahead there, Dougal. What's it called again? <laughs> my lovely horse. <laughs> right, how about this? Um, my lovely horse, I want to hold you so tight. I want to rub my fingers through your tail and <laughs> love you all night. Uh, Dougal, 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 stop there. Uh, we want to keep out of the whole area of actually being in love with the horse. <laughs> Right. It's more that we're friends with the horse, that we want to jump around with it and, you know, just have a good laugh with it. Right. What about something like, uh, take this lump of sugar, baby, you know you want it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something like those rap fellas at right. You can forget about them, Dougal. You can forget about ICT and, and Scoopy Scoopy <laughs> Dog Dog. Scoopy Scoopy Dog. <laughs> They're no help to us now. Anyway, we're not oh moving God. from here until we finish the song. ICT. Ready? Ready, Ted. Let's do it. Dougal, don't take it so seriously. It's it's just a bit of fun. <laughs> just play the f***ing note. <laughs> first one. No, not the f***ing first one. The f***ing first one's already f***ing down. Just play the f***ing note you're f***ing playing earlier. I've been playing the f***ing first one. We have the f***ing First one. <laughs> so uh, just play the f you know you're playing there. The f you were just doing. Play the f nose. <laughs> right. My lovely horse running through the field Where are you going with your fetlocks blowing in the wind? I want to shower you with sugar lumps and ride you over fences I want to polish your hooves every single day and bring you to the horse dentist My lovely horse, you're a pony no more Running around with a man on your back like a train in the night. Wait, wait, I can do this bit. Like a train in the night. <laughs> well, um, what do you think in general? <laughs> right. <laughs> Father Jack's right. It's a terrible song. It really is. What were we thinking? Ah, it's not that bad, Ted. Well, the lyrics are fine. There's no problem there. <laughs> but it's a terrible tune. It's just the same note over and over again. Look, why don't I put on my favourite Euro song and maybe that'll cheer us up? Yes, that might help. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, it's Nin Hoogan and the Hoogan notes. 
um, that came fifth in a song for Norway in 1976. That's not too bad, actually. Oh, wait a minute, that's the B-side. I'll turn it over. No, 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 leave it, leave it. It's nice enough, isn't it? Yeah, if only we'd come up with something like that. Oh, no. Dougal, <laughs> I suppose uh -oh. not many people have actually heard that song. I suppose not. First time I've heard it anyway. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> he's such a corrupt little priest, isn't he? Where are the bands now? Oh, God, Ted, it's a terrible story. <laughs> they all died in a plane crash, including everybody who was involved in the song, the, the studio engineers, the producer, <laughs> the manager, and Nobody the people who own the publishing rights. <laughs> oh, yes. It's, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, Dougal. <clears throat> yeah? Wouldn't it be nice to commemorate all those talented people by keeping their music alive? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, suppose we were to borrow that tune for My Lovely Horse. <clears throat> Uh, it would help us out, and it would uh, commemorate their memory at the same time. So we wouldn't just be stealing their tune? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> You'd have to be mad to jump to that conclusion. As I say, uh, we'd just be celebrating their memory. Uh, secretly. <laughs> Incidentally, don't tell anyone. All oh, right. And I suppose if the song wins and we make any money out of it, we could give it to their relatives. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play that by ear. <laughs> Na, 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 dee, 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 dee. You know, Dougal, I don't want to jump to any conclusions and get us all excited, but I think we're definitely going to win. Really? Oh, great. There'll be lots to think about, you know, promotional gifts for journalists, American tour dates, oh, and I suppose a big fly poster campaign. Oh, and of course, the obligatory video. An obligatory video? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Are priests allowed to be rock stars, though, Ted? Yes, there was a lad at the seminary, Father Benny Cake. He recorded a song and it went to number one in England. Really? Yeah, he didn't want people to know he was a priest, so he called himself... What's this he called himself? Anyway, I think the song was called Vienna. <laughs> and why didn't he want people to know he was a priest, Ted? Uh, I suppose people thought if you were a priest, you were a bit uncool, that you were a, a bit of a square. <laughs> and then we came along. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dougal, get to sleep. Sweet dreams. Oh no. Google's dream now. We have to lose that sax solo. <laughs> They're both having the same dream. Uh, Mrs. Doyle, I think that's enough makeup on Dougal now. There you go. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a little dog. Why is good? Hello, uh, Father Trilly. I'm Charles Hedges, your producer for this evening, and this is... Oh, you don't have to tell me, Mr. Rickwood. I'm delighted to meet you. I thought you did a brilliant job presenting last year's show. Oh, well, that's the business like, you know what I mean? In and out of doors, like, in <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Sorry? Like, the business, like, in and out of doors, in giddy up. Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, shall we end? Hidden. Shave a bullock. Mmm, 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 mmm. Have a stroke? Uh, I have to say, he sounded a lot better on last year's show. No, once he's on stage, he's fine. All right, and uh, do you know him a long time? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we've been partners for ten years. So. All right, uh, you run the production company together. No, 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 he's my lover. <laughs> 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 he... 
He's, he's quite a catch. <laughs> <laughs> this is my partner, Father Dougal McGuire. My Not partner. my sexual partner, <laughs> I mean my partner that I do the song with. <laughs> yes, well, I guess that. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that type of um, thing. I thought the Catholic Church thought that that type of thing was inherently wrong. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Um, the whole gay thing, <laughs> I suppose it's a bit of a puzzle to us all. <laughs> It must be fun, though, um, not the... <laughs> not the, you know, but the, um, the nightclubs and uh, the whole rough and tumble of homosexual activity. <laughs> you know, having boyfriends when you're a man. Anyway, don't mind what the church thinks. It used to think the earth was flat. <laughs> it's like, you know, sometimes the Pope says things he doesn't really mean. You know, we all get things... <laughs> we all get things wrong, even the Pope. <laughs> uh, what about papal infallibility? Yes. <laughs> Is it for everything... Uh, the infallibility, do you know? I don't know. <laughs> right, anyhow, nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's so nice, anyway, yeah. Father, I'm really looking forward to your entry. <laughs> the song! The song, right, oh well, so am I. <laughs> do you think we'll win? It's not up to him, it's the public who decide. Not this year. No? No, we've decided this year that I'll pick the winner. That old phone-in system wasn't really working. But the song the public's chosen has won Eurosong five years in a row. Yes, but it's uh, quite complicated. Are you looking forward to the show? Oh, yes, yeah. We were all thrilled, and uh, it's a bit of a novelty, I suppose, you know, what with us being priests. <laughs> uh, well, not exactly, because tonight there's a very similar act to yours, Fathers Dick Byrne and Father Cyril McDonough. Oh, God, I didn't think they'd make it this far. Flip! They'll win, Ted. We might as well give up now. Well, that's a very defeatist attitude, Dougal. Oh, actually, it is. Sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's right, Ted. Dick, you're ready to be beaten, then? <laughs> I'd say your song is terrible anyway. Oh, no, it's not. It's better than your one anyway, Ted, you big fool. You take that back! I win! <laughs> I'll just believe you. Oh, oh, thanks very much, Charles. See you later. Yes, yes thanks. Yes, I'm sure we'll all have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I will not take it back. I bet we get a million points, and I bet you get minus 7,000. Oh, yeah? How much? How much is your best? Four pounds! Right? right. You're on! <laughs> oh, no, that's just on us winning. I mean, obviously, the million points is a bit of an exaggeration. All right, yeah. <laughs> right, so we're off to win the contest. <laughs> ah. Seriously, Ted, even if you don't win the contest, I'm sure your song's a very good one. Really? No! <laughs> oh, I really hate Father Dick Byrne! <laughs> Dick Byrne? Yeah, that's his name, Dick Byrne. He's yeah. catching on to that now. No, I already know that. Jesus. Good luck tonight, Fred. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll see you later on. We'll be playing it. <laughs> <laughs> And now, live from the Theatre Royal, a song for Ireland. And here is your host, Fred Rickwood. Hello! What a pro. And welcome to Song for <laughs> Ireland, the contest where we select who will represent Ireland in Eurosong 96. How did you do that? Look at Dick Byrne over there showing off. <laughs> You won't be too happy when we win and he comes last. Did you give him the finger? Did you see that? He's like... Oh, this evening... ...and I know they're eager to start. So please, could you put your hands together and welcome on stage your hopefuls from Rugged Island, Father Dick Byrne and Father Cyril Macduff.
I didn't get the whole concert. I'm known for a fag. It's gonna get locked out or something. Oh, the other priest stole it too. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that's the thing. We can't do the song. What's up with you, Ted? I just heard it in the lift. They're piping it in in there. I heard someone whistling it. Well, that's good, isn't it? Shows what a great song it is, Ted. No, 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 we ripped it off. It must be more famous than we thought. We found it out. What did we do, Ted? Why did this have to happen to us? What did we ever do to deserve this? The song's nearly over, Ted. Oh, no. I think Dougal... We'll have to resort to Plan B. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Something else, something else. And now on to our next act. All the way from Craggy Island, could you please welcome Father Ted Crilly and Father Dougal Maguire. My lovely horse running through the fields. Where are you going with your fetlocks blowing in the wind? <laughs> I want to shower you with sugar lumps and ride you over fences. <laughs> Polish your hooves every single day and send you to the horse dentist. My lovely horse, you're a pony no more. Running around with the man on your back like a train in the night, like a train in the... Hold on, I can get this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we did it. Don't ask me how, but we did it. <laughs> and the answer is really quite simple for me. Yours was the best song. I suppose so. But you know, I didn't really think that the audience were going for it. Ah, this plan. This is a plan where they would have a match with you. Come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, our song was clearly miles better than theirs. Well, we thought... I mean, for God's sake, it was the same note over and over again. Yes, but we, we admired it. Um... Yeah, well, it, 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 you know, there was the order of a bucket and thrown flying. <laughs> your your day hadn't happened. There was a spirit the whole way. Exactly. Oh, oh. Fred put it better than I ever could. Yeah, so there. <laughs> Anyone would think you wanted Ireland to lose the next Euro song contest. <laughs> Nonsense! Why would we want to do that? Well, I don't know. Maybe because it was costing you too much to stage. Oh, oh, oh dick, 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 dick. Now, come on. Does that really sound plausible? I think you should just go on now and count your sour grapes before they hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Better look next time. <laughs> we lost, so. Really? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations again, Father. I'm sure you'll do very well in the Euro Song Contest. I think we will. Europe, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd better sneak them out the back. That's a very nasty crowd out there. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Athens. So that's a total score of 103 for Belgium. Yeah. And now, could we please have the points for Ireland's entry, My Lovely Horse? Oh, no. Ireland, no points. Ireland, no points. Ireland, no points. Oh, no. Ireland, no points. Ireland, 
no points. Ireland, kind of point Ireland, no points. <laughs> I mean, this is Doyle, like leaving. Again, Ireland, no points. Ireland, yeah. Ireland, not, not, nothing there again. <laughs> Ireland, no points. Ireland, yes. Ireland, yes. That means nothing. Yolenski, not point. Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. <laughs> that's so silly. But it's funny. <laughs> When he was writing the music together in the bedroom and they were fucking swearing and... Not that one, fucking that one! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Brad on a Sunday. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, that was hilarious. And it was. Yeah. Silly. It was very silly. Yeah. Actually. That was good though. It made me laugh all the way oh. through. <laughs> Are we I done? Just, I love the show. I just love the show. Yeah. It's so, I know, the whole father and the little boy thing, like, even though they're both priests. He was so awkward with the gay thing, too, eh? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, but like... He was so awkward with it. Not that there is, not that there is I'm just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> it's funny. Anyways. Okay. Well, that's Father Ted. Anyhow. That's another one we'll get on, either here or there, or anywhere. Near Thanks for that. Near or far?